Gate number four is locked, so police don't know how Edmonds got to the top of the staircase. What we do know is that a family is grieving. Luba Selenenko, WUFT News. Some homeowners have given up on trying to sell their homes and have instead decided to rent them out. New details and concerns emerge from the Secret Service prostitution scandal. The investigation continues into what happened in Colombia before President Obama visited. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm not driving. In 2009, 20% of injury crashes were caused by distracted drivers. The staff at Florida Works says some people don't make full use of the resources available here. To find out what those resources are, you can visit the building behind me at 4800 Southwest 13th Street or go online at floridaworksonline.com. Outside of Florida Works in Gainesville, Luba Salanenko, WUFT News. Every spring, Gainesville is invaded. If it's not in your nose or your lungs, it's on your car. Pollen levels are unusual high this season. Dalton Cross hand washes cars at the Park Place Car Wash on Northwest 4th Boulevard and says he's seen more pollen covered cars since spring. Green on the outside and it's just hard to like keep your car outside because it'll be all over it. Park Place washes up to 170 cars a day during pollen season. That's 50 more a day than during the winter. Cars come in covered in pollen and they want to get them clean. Pollen.com, a source provided by the National Weather Service, reports pollen levels in March and April were classified as high, although the most recent level was medium high at 8.7. This time of year, pollen levels are usually lower, but it's been a warm winter. Average high temperatures from Gainesville in March are in the 70s, but this year they were up in the 80s. All flowers and flowering trees have pollen. We've got a mixture of pine trees and oak trees and sweet gums and elms. If you get several different species and their time of maximum bloom corresponds, then there's going to be a lot of pollen. But not everyone is washing their car more often. Out of the six car washes that I called, three said their business warmed up with the temperatures. The rest said they saw no change at all. Other things happen during the year to make it equally dirty, so it was just, it's more convenient than anything. It's whenever we have time to do it. Dalton says even his own car is dirtier this time of the year. You make money, but then you still have to wash your own car after you get done doing these. So even for a car washer, pollen season is bittersweet. Luba Salanenko, WUFT News. <laughs> For Mark Solters, bagpiping is a passion, but it's certainly not a job. It's really hard to make a lot of money doing music. Mark says he gave out between 50 and 80 resumes last summer and fall, and then... I just went and asked, and I was like, I, I think this is really interesting. Can I work in your lab? He got a job at the University of Florida Physics Department through personal connections and without a resume. Having trouble finding a job is nothing new. What's new is the unemployment rate is showing improvement. We got as high as 8.9 percent, but now it's going back down. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, the unemployment rate in Alachua County was 7.3 percent in January, an improvement from summer 2011 when it was over 8 percent. This brochure came out with new jobs as of mid-March 2012. It has pages and pages of open positions of all levels, one even paying 125 k In Gainesville, we have a very interesting economy. We have a lot of business incubators and a lot of entrepreneurs. Despite the success of some people creating their own jobs, Alachua County unemployment is nowhere near the rates from several years ago. I would like to see the economy get even better than it has recently. I feel like it's starting to take an upswing. Um, it's very difficult to see because there's still so many people unemployed. It's no good to sit around and complain, that's for sure. As long as I can do physics and play music, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> The unemployment rate may have hit a sour note for the past few years, but this musician plays to a different tune. Luba Salanenko, WUFT News. Imagine locking up your bike, leaving and returning to find that it's gone. That's the scenario for hundreds of Gainesville residents every year, and incidences are on the rise. Blue, green, Schwinn. Gainesville is a candy land for bike theft. Scott Wolf knows it all too well. And within seconds it was gone and I looked and my bicycle was missing and I no longer have a bicycle. He got the shock of his life when he witnessed his own bike being stolen while eating at the Steak and Shake on 13th Street last January. Well, I was sitting right on the other side of this window eating. The shade was down most of the way and an individual walked up from this direction right here 
grab it, jump off on it, and took off out this way. Public records show there were 415 bike thefts in Gainesville in 2011. That's an increase of nearly 50 percent from 2010, when that number was just 277. Locking your bike is crucial in preventing theft. These are great for convenience, but they're not necessarily the best for safety because they can be cut fairly easily. The UFPD website says you should use a steel U-type lock and make sure you put it through the rack, the bike frame, and the wheel. What we always encourage people to do is to register their bicycle with the University of Florida Police Department. You don't need to be a student to do that. You can stop any UFPD officer and register your bike. They carry all necessary paperwork and stickers with them. It's similar to having a license plate on your car. Scott didn't register his bike so police might not be able to find it as easily, but he did put up signs around Gainesville. It's black, black, extra, extra large. Trek 4300 with 29 inch rims on it. Until his bike is found, his visit to Steak and Shake proved to be one expensive meal. I spoke to the UFPD on the phone and they said most stolen bikes are recovered when police stop someone for a traffic violation and scan the sticker through their system. In the newsroom, Luba Salanenko, WUFT News. Last time around, it didn't quite work out for Hillary Clinton, but a Florida win was decisive for John McCain. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Luba Salenenko with today's WUFT Politics. Republican presidential candidate Newt Gingrich has set a press conference for tomorrow. Obama doesn't yet know who he'll be up against in the presidential race. His battle right now is against a Republican budget plan. It's primary day in Illinois today, a state with 54 delegates and a closed election format. Some voters cast their ballots early this morning in Chicago.